Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Value Wrestling on the Big Time with Big Time Rants, episode 110. 110, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that amazing to think 110 episodes of the Big Time Rants? And we're back with another great episode, and we're going to break down a lot of news, a lot of stuff going on in the world of professional wrestling. I thank you for being here, taking time out of your busy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You know, people are getting ready for the trick-or-treating, the parties, all the fun and festivities that come on the day of All Hallows Eve. But I'm here to break you down some news, get you ready for this weekend as we get into a very, very busy time of year and a very, very busy weekend for us here at the Value Wrestling. As you know, the big man, and of course me, the medium-sized man, are going to be live tomorrow night with your Friday night SmackDown post-show review. We'll be back Saturday with Rebel Warriors Championship Wrestling. We'll get into all the details a little bit later on the show about that. And then Sunday, which is Daylight Savings Time, those hours fall back. We lose that one hour, falling backwards, get an extra hour of sleep. That's going to be great. We'll be here with your weekly roundup podcast. Mondays, of course, with near Monday Night Raw post-show review. So much going on this week. It's going to be busy like we always stay busy. And then we got another week. And then shortly after that, we are only about two weeks away Three weeks away from SPW's Still Hungry. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to talk about all that and so much more right here on Big Time Rants. Wrestling news. I know stuff came out over the last few days. I was in Lake Tahoe on Tuesday, came back yesterday, got recuperated, and now I'm here to bring it all down to you. And I know that we recently heard about Vince McMahon, who we call Redacted on this channel. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, it looks like he's coming back in some form, fashion, or another. It looks like he is going to start up an entertainment hub of some business. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything wrestling-related, per se, as a wrestling company. But there seems to be some Hall of Famers and some close associates of Vince McMahon that were tied to wrestling in the past. That may help him in these future endeavors and this future business of entertainment hub. We don't know what it's all going to be. It's going to be some details, but it looks like Vince is trying to do something to get back out there in some way or form. Will he come up with a wrestling company? Will he work with some other wrestling company? Will he purchase another wrestling company? <laughs> Who knows what is going on with Vince McMahon? Will Shane McMahon be a part working with his daddy in any of this industry or business uh, that is going to be there? Is this why we're not seeing Shane in AEW as of yet? Is Shane still connected to AEW in this North story along with John Marksley? Sure doesn't sound like it as things are moving away from that. I wonder if Shane's going to be working with his dad. I, I, I think that's a, the better choice of the likely stories. But we're going to have to wait and see what is going to happen with Vincent Mann and this entertainment company and the future of all of that. A lot of interesting stuff there. Last well, night, AEW Dynamite was on the air. A lot of stuff happened. The proto star Kyle Fletcher came out looking for Will Ospreay and was confronted by his former tag team partner, Mark Davis. Orange Cassidy came out dressed in all black. To try and take down Moxley and his new crew. And Darby Allen, it's descended uh, from the ceiling in a Sting S like gimmick. And finally, Private Party beat the Young Bucks to win the AEW Tag Team Champions. I say it's a little too late for it. I, I'm happy for them. Uh, glad that uh, Cassidy and Quinn have won the tag team, that the Private Party are the AEW Tag Team Champions, but I believe the moment was. The last time at Wrestle of Dreams. Now they're doing it here. It seems a little too short and last minute. Um, it seems like they played it safe just to turn it here. What does this mean? Of course, the Young Bucks semi giving the titles to the private party and celebrating in kind of a baby face nature. What is the future for this elite group with the Young Bucks? Katushka Akata and Jack Perry. Could they be turning baby face to take down this new BCC group? What is going on? It's going to be really interesting to see. And when it all comes together, but AEW Dynamite, a decent little show. It had its highlights. It had its moments. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. Of course, we'll get into more details and all of that when I talk with the big man on Sundays on this weekly Roundup podcast. King Omega making an upcoming appearance for Prowler Struggle events, uh, renewing his speculation that he could return to the ring, working with New Japan Pro Wrestling and a lot of different things. What is going to happen with Kenny Omega, we're all dying to see him back in a wrestling ring. I think time's only going to tell, but it looks like he's working with New Japan Pro Wrestling in a lot of ways. And it could be very, very interesting 
So we're going to have to see how that goes. Anyways, in the other news, it looks like also on AEW Dynamite last night, we finally got the big debut of Bobby Lashley. The Hurt Syndicate is officially in business as it completes its other piece to the massive puzzle that is the Hurt Syndicate. As Bobby Lashley comes out after a phone call by MVP after Shelton Benjamin lost to Swerve Strickland on AEW Dynamite last night, Bobby Lashley comes out and lays out both Nana and with the help of MVP and Shelton Benjamin. Bobby Lashley's all elite. It's only a matter of time to see what Bobby Lashley will do in AEW. How elite he'll be. Um, another big name from WWE coming over to AEW. How long before he is world champion too? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with Bobby Lashley and the story is going to be. Of course, we know he's going to uh, start out of the gate feuding with Swerve Strickland, which should be interesting as we march into full gear, it should be a fun time. Uh, it'll be a great match. Uh, it should be something great on paper, but it'll be very interesting to see how it all goes together. WWE also announced this week, WWID. Yes, WWID is what is being called a WWE Independent Development. Uh, it is to provide up-and-coming independent wrestlers a pathway to a potential career in WWE. So wrestling schools in some towns will be given the WWE ID designation as part of their program or part of the program. Uh, a lot of speculation on what this means and how this is going to work out. It already seems like some independent talent are already assigned to WWE ID and already have the ID designation. Why some schools have joined, such as Booker T's Reality of Wrestling out of Houston, Cody Rhodes Nightmare Factory out of Atlanta, Seth Rollins Black and Brave Academy out of Davenport, Iowa, Elite Pro Wrestling Training Center in Concord, New Hampshire, and Rikishi's Knox Pro Academy in L.A. All already signed under this new ID. WWE ID is a prospect uh, to help uh, future wrestlers find a pathway to a career in professional wrestling and mostly WWE. What will this mean? Uh, will WWE tie up the independents? Uh, will this make it harder for AEW to find independent talent? It, it seems like this is going to be more set up as an independent thing. Uh, some schools will be assigned to uh, WWE ID, why others aren't. So independent companies can become part of the WWE. There doesn't look like there's going to be any financial support, but there'll be mentoring ship and helping develop younger talent into the future professional wrestling. We already know the Neil program. Uh, the WWE runs for athletes in college to transfer from their athletic sport into wrestling. This is just another way of doing it with independent wrestlers uh, coming up through the ranks and working with independent companies. Will we see this affect us? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how the world revolves and how this works out. Is there some big names that I think WWE would want to get their ID on, get their hands kind of on to help develop, mold, and provide for their future, hoping to get a... A, a, a plethora of future WWE stars. This, in a lot of ways, there's a lot of great stuff to this, helping develop young talent through schools, working with WWE and talent directly assigned with WWE that are going to be able to work on the independent scene as they grow, learn, and find craft, their talents, their skills, and their abilities. So when they get to the main stage, they'll be ready to go. And it'll be very interesting to see how all those things come together. It'll be a fun time. To see a lot of these things uh it's just kind of wait and see where wwe works with who wwe works with and what is going on um it will only be a matter of time to see how it works out we'll keep you posted right here on the value of wrestling and of course we'll talk more on sunday when i sit down with the big man and we discuss wwid so NXT hot hot this week as uh, Trick Williams came out and asked Bully Ray or Bubba Ray Dudley to team with him to take on uh, the team of all ego Ethan Page and Ridge Holland. Bubba Ray Dudley turned him down, but we'll have to wait and see how that all comes together. A lot of great things to look into. It NXT is turning red hot, even though it's been on the CW. And of course, now that the World Series is finally over, and Dodger Blue is the colors that are shining bright tonight and today. And will be shining bright for a little while as the Dodgers beat the Yankees in a five-game series, four to one. Or it was a seven-game series, but they completed it by winning four games to one, beating the Yankees in 
the Cathedral of Yankee Stadium last night. The Dodgers went on a win. And, of course, as the Atlanta Brave fan, I get to give big support and props to Freddie Freeman for winning the World Series MVP, tying the record with the most RBIs in the World Series. Um, Freeman, just a, a magnificent talent, one of the best, if not the best, first baseman in baseball today. So with that said, let's talk about what's coming up for the value of wrestling. Of course, Saturday, right here, we will be live with Round of Warriors Championship Wrestling, live from Lodi, California, at the Lodi Great Festival Grounds in Lodi, California. Doors open at 5 p.m., first bell at 6 p.m., and it is definitely a stacked card. The value wrestling will be there. We'll have our table set up. We'll always be giving out stickers. We'll have our little posters for sale. We'll be there to talk to you. We're hoping to get some great interviews because there's a lot of inner things going on that we're excited to do. And recently, recently, uh, it was announced that uh, Journey Fa 2 and Juicy are both going to be there. They're crashing the party. This should be fun to add to it all. Can't wait to see them. Will we get another Fa 2 on the channel? We got Jacob Fa 2 with a big shout out. Can we get Journey Fa 2 with a shout out of his own? It's going to be incredible to see what is going to happen at Realm of Warriors Championship Wrestling. Of course, the card is stacked as the Realm of Warriors Shag Team Championship title match will be going down as the tag team titles are on the line as two fresh shakes on the high council of Dante Daring and Chima, who, if you're an SPW fan, should really know who THC is. Uh, they are getting around the Northern California area. A great tag team, but if you watch Ghouls, Rights, and Wrestling sites, you know there's a question mark to all of that. After Dante Daring turned on Shima at Ghoul's Rights and Wrestling Tights, will we see carryover? Will they have made amends? Will we get a chance to talk to Dante Daring? Can we find out why it went down? Or will we get to talk to THC together as they get ready for a match at Realm Warriors Championship Wrestling Fall Fury this Saturday, November 2nd? Midas Creed's going to take on that spectacular talent in the Northern California, let alone the California area. Yes, El Chupacabra has signed on the dotted line to take on Midas Creed at Realm of Warriors Championship Wrestling. I know Mr. Z is excited to see El Chupacabra live in action. Brandon Humphrey making his Realm of Warriors Championship debut, and he's going to take on the man who fears the value of wrestling, Jerry Gigolo. I guess for one night, we'll be supporting Brandon Humphrey as he takes on the man who is scared of the value of wrestling. Anytime you want to sit down and talk, Jerry Gigolo will be here to talk to you. Damian Drake and Jordan Oasis are going to tie it up. And in a candlestick lumberjack match, which should be just off the wall. I don't know if you're going to be able to keep all these men in the ring as the 209 click will take on the Bike Club in some tag team action there. And it's going to be a candlestick lumberjack match. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to get crazy. You need to be there. Michael Iossi is going to take on Mighty Myra in a one-on-one -on -one competition. Of course, the main event, a four-way dance. Tarzan Duran, Kenny K, a Supa Parisi, Parisis, Parisis. I am sorry, Josepa. I, I can't pronounce his name. Not familiar with it. Please forgive me. And Rancho Camacho is going to tie it up in a four-way dance. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a great time in uh, the Valley Wrestling on Saturday, November 2nd, when we go to Realm Warriors Championship Wrestling for their Fall Fury event. This will be the second event with Realm Warriors Championship Wrestling, and it should be a great fun time. We're going to be set up there. We're going to be calling all the great action. We'll be streaming some content and doing some great things with all of that. I hope you're excited. I hope you'll tune in or show up. That's the bigger piece of it all. You just need to show up so we can all get together and have a good old time. Uh, catch up with your boys. We're going to be there, and it should be a great, great time. Of course, it's November, and uh, tomorrow, uh, it'll finally be November. A lot of people are afraid of that, because that means the Christmas season begins. Mariah Carey will be singing loud and proud through all your favorite places, and it'll be soon time to set up Christmas decorations. But, of course, we got to get to the big feast of Thanksgiving. Dine and wine on turkey and all the trimmings. It's going to be a fun time towards the end of the month, and the value wrestling is going to be busy as we progress forward with all the great events we got going on. Our doors are always open to one more event this month, it looks like, so who knows what could come up, what we could work out. But we got Royal Warriors Championship Wrestling November 2nd, and of course we return to SPW Supreme Pro Wrestling on November 17th, Sunday, November 17th, the third Sunday of the month. 
We go back to the Starker World Indoor Arena, Elk Grove, California, the SPW Arena, as I love, as Mr. Z, as we love to call it. It's the house that AE, uh, SPW built. I don't know why I always want to say AEW, but anyways, SPW is going to be live in action with Still Hungry, still waiting for this big card to come out. Last year on this show, the newly crowned SPW Heavyweight Champion, the Dark Fox, Alumine, the Obsidian Adonis, had his first major SPW title defense. When he took on Brian Kendrick. Yes, that very Brian Kendrick at Still Hungry last year. Will there be any big name surprises this year at Still Hungry? Who's going to be Still Hungry and show up and show out? Will there be any time for a choppy, choppy world tour return in the month of November? We're going to have to wait and see. Can we get it in doubles, triples? Who knows? Because Realm of Warriors Championship Wrestling, there's a lot of possibilities that will happen there. And then who knows if anybody will step up at Supreme Pro Wrestling Still Hungry on November 17th to answer the call of the Choppy Choppy World Tour. And we can't wait to give you that card and the great announcements there. Collectible Stampede and our buddy Ghost West Ghost Designs still out there. He's looking for 2,000 people to follow him on Instagram. So go over to West Instagram right now. Type in West Ghost Designs and follow West Ghost Designs if you want championship belts made for whatever, whether it be wrestling, football, baseball. Maybe you want a Dodgers World Championship. The Dodgers are now the world champions for 2024. Do you want a Dodgers World Championship? This is the man you want to get in contact with with all the great other designs he has. West Coast Designs. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on TikTok. They're following us on all those platforms. They're easy to find, and we are good friends. We can't wait to see if there's any more action coming out of Collectible Stampede, because that'll be a fun time that we bring you. And who knows what other doors will open for the value of wrestling as we progress and go. Of course, Supreme Pro Wrestling is going to be one of the great feeds as SPW's home is here on the Value Wrestling YouTube channel. We're going to bring you that live action, that live entertainment. Uh, we got cameras set up. We are building to make sure this program is going to go off without a hitch. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Either get to Elk Grove on November 17th or be ready to watch it if you can't be in the California area. If you're out of state, if you're on the opposite side, hey, we're going to have it here for you. But if you're going to be in town, you need to come see it live. Don't just wait for it to stream on TV. Come watch it live. Stream us. Listen to the commentary while you watch the live action in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a fun time. Still hungry. And it's going to be the big canned food drive for SPW. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring out the canned foods for this. Dig that stuff out of the back of the covers. Go down to your local store uh, and, and buy some canned food. Uh, and, and let's help fill a truckload. Let's fill several truckloads of canned food for SPW. And to feed those in need this time of year. November 17th will be a great time. They can get all this stuff in and get it out to all the folks in need for this Thanksgiving season. There's going to be a lot of people who need it for Thanksgiving, who are going to need it for Christmas and the holiday season. Let's make sure we fill up these food pantries. Let's make sure those who need it get it, because we can help out. It'll be a great time, and we're going to give you all the more details. Still hungry. SPW is going to be a fun show this Sunday. Of course, Rebel Warriors Championship Wrestling Fall Fury. It's going to be a blast. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to be there. You need to check it all out. We are busy. Friday, SmackDown Review Show. After SmackDown, we'll be here live. Saturday, Crown Jewel in the morning. We will watch that. We will go to Rebel Warriors Championship Wrestling. We'll cover all that entertainment. Sunday night, 8 p.m. It'll be daylight savings time. We're going to fall back an hour. Remember that. It's going to be a little hour later, it feels like. But we'll be here with the Weekly Roundup Podcast. We're going to talk about everything that went down on Crown Jewel on that show. Monday, back with the Monday Night Raw Post show review. And of course, Miguel C is going to come back with the New Japan Rebound podcast on Tuesday, where he's going to be covering the next chapter in the Super Junior League tag a tournament that is going on that's downright hot, heavy, and crazy. And if you haven't been caught up yet, need to get caught up. He has part one and part two of this week up already, where he covers nights one and two, and then nights three and four of all the Super Junior Tag Tournament League that's going on. This is going to be a fun time. We're building in. To Wrestle Kingdom, it's just around the corner. Royal Rumble, just around the corner, too. Of course, Survivor Series is not, not knocking at the door. Because after Saturday, we're going to be racing to War Games. You better believe it, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a fun time. The season's here. It's going to be a holiday, holiday season. We're going to have some fun times. And then we're going to turn into a new year, 2025. Ooh, baby, it's going to be a fun time because 2025 brings a lot of great things. Of course, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And, of course... April 4th Sunday, in this case, 
SPW 25th anniversary show. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to bring you all this great content we're going to bring you. We're going to talk to all, all the stars within SPW about SPW and their 25th anniversary show. We're going to talk to talent. We're going to talk to hopefully some audience members we're going to talk to history we're going to hopefully get a chance to sit down with spw president mike miller before that and we're really hoping to sit down with scoot robertson scooty scooty and the sexy grandpa himself sir samurai uh and have a little round table discussion we're going to learn all the history we can about spw and what spw's 25th anniversary show is going to mean how special it's going to be ladies and gentlemen we are growing, we are developing, we are becoming the brand that you're going to want to watch because when it comes to not only the IWC, but independent wrestling, we're going to bring you the best in the entertainment. We're going to bring you some of the best names and we're going to bring it all together right here on the Value Wrestling on the Big Time. This is the Big Time Rants, episode 110. Baby, it's awesome. Please stay tuned. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Every like helps us out in the algorithm. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications so whenever we are live or new content comes on the air, you'll know. And of course, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the Value of Wrestling family. We are marching and we are going to blow. Any day this thing can blow up and we can reach astounding numbers. And we're going to change the landscape of the IWC because we're here to be contenders, not pretenders. You can believe that. So watch out. The Value of Wrestling is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the next one. This is the value of wrestling, the revolutionary force in wrestling podcasting.